Bella, I saw what you did. Oh, wait, shit, is it not working? Fuck, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, is this gonna work? Is it gonna work? Okay. Actually, let me make sure that's connected too. Hold on, hold on. I, I gotta make sure this is perfect for effect. Okay, good. Bella! <laughs> I saw that! I saw what you did in your server! Bella! Thank you. Thank you a lot. I'm not sure. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I saw that. <laughs> Don't act like that. I saw exactly what you did. <laughs> it's very appreciated. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't give me that shit. Don't give me that shit, you smug ass rose bush. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hope y'all are having a good day. I have my model again. My model. <laughs> I can actually use the fucking model today. It feels. It feels like it's been longer. That was a long gorilla stream we had last night. <laughs> Top that off with the Wednesday where I did, uh. Where I originally tried streaming Hall Divers, but. I'm no longer confined to PNG. And I can use my the labor the love of my labor once more hallelujah hope everybody's been having a good day so far mine has been okay <laughs> it has been okay and i hope it stays okay <laughs> uh it's been a, it, it was a rough weekend <laughs> i don't think i talked about this little yesterday but yeah it's been a i had a rough weekend <laughs> and yesterday was just mostly for myself i did have that stream uh, yesterday, but it was kind of just chill, just chill, relaxing, playing Hell Divers. Not much more, not much else. I'm sorry. Well, thank you, Mila. It's appreciated. <laughs> I have you here though, so I, have, I I can't be a sad boy for too long. It's impossible. It's impossible to not smile while you're around. <laughs> Take a sip of diet Pepsi. See, we're doing more Harvestella today. We're doing more Harvestella today. We're going over to Harvestella right now. Right now. There we go. Uh, by the way, um, apparently I never left the save screen. <laughs> I was not aware. I was not aware that I never left the screen. Is it a little laggy? It's just the menu. I gotten too used to like the snappiness of Hell Divers, dude. I'm gonna feel so like actually I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. I completely forgot what we were doing. Um, ooh, Assault Savant has something I can do. Uh, it's just a job change. Too bad I don't switch off of Assault Savant. <laughs> I need Circuit again here, so I have something to light on fire. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? What the fuck am I doing? There was actually something else I could do. Hold on. Hold on. Just job change cool then. I don't, I don't fucking care. <laughs> uh, let's actually look at my... Um, stuff. Given I need to go to Bola and I need to go to near Automata. And then something with Cress eventually, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you beat the dragon, now we can go south from the farm. Gotcha. Oh shit, speaking of which, speaking of which, I need to, uh, I don't think I turned these back on after stream yesterday. I need to take care of that real quick. Manage rewards. Since I was significantly more limited um, the other day, being a PNG and all, um, just turning all my channel rewards back on real quick. <laughs> there we go. That should be fixed. Yeah, it's all fixed. Yay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I only had like two things. Bullet is a funny world. I'm reminded of bullets from um DND. Cause I used them in a campaign I was DMing once. Uh, speaking of DND, unfortunately, it seems the DD campaign I've talked about a couple of times is just not going to happen anymore now. It's part it's part of the reason I was sad this weekend. <laughs> or rather Yeah, part of the reason I was sad this weekend was related to that. Can I go in here? This is a cave there. I can't go in there. Um, it's 11:40 a.m. We're going to the Jade Forest. I don't know what's down here. We'll find out. Ugh. 
That is most certainly. Yo, look at that guy. What a little goblin. Look at these little goblins. That's a lot of goblins. I'm gonna kick the goblin's ass. What's wrong now? We're going back to Shatoda. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. But the first, the first time I was just like me, me, like she's fucking her own runner. That's funny. Me, me. Yes, yes, I know. You'll get your boat. Don't worry. It's just taking time to prepare. They're likely to continue on today as well. But shipbuilding is a costly affair. You'll need to work harder to help me pay for it. Now we must hurry back. You wouldn't want to be late for your performance. Meep. <laughs> okay, that's genuinely how she talks. At first I thought she was like acting like, um, scared someone like, meep, uh, or something like that. Like that was a sound she just made when she was scared. No, that's how she talks. <laughs> I'm not asking for the earth. All I need to do is sing. <laughs> that was just funny to be greeted with. Watch out, trolls. I have very thick legs. I do a save. Thank you for the pets, Mila. <laughs> it's appreciated. <laughs> like, I, I told you I was giving you your pet redeem. I told you I was giving it to you. <laughs> if it is requested, it shall be done. Within reason. Yeah. It's contagious. It's spreading. More plant monsters. Time to beat the shit out of them. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I have no reach. Let me switch over. I can't tell if I'm doing more damage or not. We'll see. Grass seeds. And fire light fruit. <laughs> Ayo, more mushrooms. I can make more meals. Good, I'll probably need it for whenever I get to the boss fight. Speaking of which, how is my healing right now? Because I used a lot during that fight. I have a cucumber and mint sandwiches. And got a breakfast, so I kind of want to save that for the quest. We shall see. <laughs> I say quest. Fucking filling out kitchen compendium. The end compendium, whatever. I want to fight the troll. I'm going for the troll first. The goblin. Get in the goblin. I want to break the goblin. Uh, I'm gonna fuck up the goblin. I guess it is me doing that? Yeah, it is me. So I'm using the right thing right now. Hard skin. There's a joke there. I'm not gonna say the joke, but there's a joke there. Thought on Meep Girl's design. It's cute. At least from the back. I like her I like her dress. I like I like light blues. Some more goblins. Go fight the goblins. Goblins. <laughs> so I'll start to like it more once I see it from the front, too. But it's a very cute dress. Bro, I, I need to talk about something. So, this was a couple weeks ago. This was a couple weeks ago, but... I was in Target with my moms because they were visiting for uh, me that week for um, mostly car reasons. And um, with that, I'll use this. Um, we were just going through Target. They were trying to buy some things for my god sis back home. And um, I saw like a Kirby dress for like a little girl. Like, that they were selling, and I, bro, I, honest to God, was so fucking jealous of it, because it looked actually really good, and I was like, God damn it, I wish I was a little girl so I could wear that. Because <laughs> that shit looked really fucking good. Like, it had a really good fucking design on that. I was, like, upset. 
This is around. This looks like a good place to rest for a while. Sit down on the roots and rest for a while. The wind is blowing through the leaves. The stream is gently running by and the birds are chirping. You immerse yourself in the sounds of nature. One hour later. You enjoyed nature so much that your break ended up being longer than expected, but your body got the rest you need. Your health and stamina have been replenished. Yay. More things to beat up. I'm glad to see that I'm rocking this area with my falcon punch. Dude, I am, have so much Helldivers brain rot because I play it with the PS4 controller and it has the little, like touchpad on it. That also doubles as a button. I tried to hit the touchpad on my Switch controller to open up the map. <laughs> oh, somebody save me. I need, like, attention. I need a stim. Somebody help. <laughs> I just want to live my life as a farmer, not as a soldier anymore. <laughs> At least until tomorrow. Then Super Earth calls again. The battle begins. There we go. I have bombs. Maybe some lamp oil too. I don't think they're selling that Kirby dress anymore though. I haven't seen it since um then. Granted, I haven't exactly gone to look when I go into this particular target either. I'll just take the free um, encounter avoid. <laughs> Those little legs go. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> I love it. I will not make the joke. I will not make the mo joke. I'm a very mature individual. I'm a very mature human being. I have a feeling we can't defeat this one. You should buy a Kirby dress. No shame. I wouldn't have. Sh Look, man. If it was in my size, I I could buy it. I could wear it. I would do that. I have no shame with that. The battle begins. <laughs> I need this thing to die faster. I need to start looking just for a, uh, I need to start looking for, um, thing. Hey, yo, what's this? Princess Chestnut Snap Boy. Ugh. Bears fruit in fall. Princess, hard to harvest in seven days. Can be harvested repeatedly. Will grow even without water and grows in any season. That is very good to have. Very, very good to have. Um, pfft. something else I want to talk about completely. Oh yeah, on the topic of being a very mature human being, I saw a video from a channel that like does things where um, can't tell if it's from here. If you shake the tree, you might be able to get it down. Wait, tree from side to side, but then monsters follow the tree. Monsters attack. All right, I need to heal. But um, when I was, uh, there was this channel that like shows like footage of like you, uh, like simulations of you falling through planets, which I thought was really cool. Like they did one for Jupiter. They did one where you fall into a black hole, but there was also one where you fall into um to a uh, Uranus, and the title was just falling into Uranus simulation. You can imagine what the comment section looked like. And the top one was just, I'm a mature human being, I'm a mature human being, I'm a mature human being. <laughs> Crack me up. <laughs> Bruh. 
We are mature. We're mature human beings, Mila. We have to be. <laughs> I feel like they knew what they were doing too. <laughs> It gets even better when at one point in the video it says Uranus is very windy. <laughs> that one was intentional. Is everyone right? <laughs> I am a very mature human being. I am a very mature human being. Uh, Chitola, Side, Monus, Monolite. There we go. Now we're on the other side. You now travel through Jade Forest on the world map. Seaside Sound, Shatola. I wonder if it's gaping too. <laughs> no, it's mostly liquid. That's something that very interesting I learned about the gas giants. Not even in that video. I learned in my astronomy class. Um, the actual like surface in quotations is water. Well, not water. It's liquid. It's gases that are under so much pressure they turn into their liquid state. So Jupiter and and Uranus are actually like just vast fucking oceans of like hydrogen gas that is so hot it's hotter than the surface of the sun because of all the gravity pressure. I don't know, this is really cool. Because you're always told, like, oh, these are the gas giants, but, it's like, and, but like, you think to yourself, like, wait, then what does the surface of them look like? Is it all just a big ball of gas? I mean, technically, it's just in a liquid state right now. <laughs> uh, it's like some beach resort. <laughs> Why the fuck are you here at nearly 8 o'clock at night? What's wrong with our timing? You see, the thing that happened with the Seas Light has been whipping up all kinds of trouble recently. I don't know why I'm giving her an old lady voice. She looks perfectly young. <laughs> Problem? Are you talking about those huge bubbles? You mean the summer bola? They do give us a shock when they appear out of nowhere, but they're totally harmless. Go ahead. Eat one. <laughs> you won't die. Yet. <laughs> Fortunately, there's a worse problem at hand. I'd love for you both to try some delicious fish, but all the fishermen have gotten themselves in a dizzy. Now they just while away their day at the tavern from noon to night, oy vey. The tavern? <sighs> the place where you get drunk off your ass. Yep, seems there's a new diva in town. <laughs> what those are talking about eating them is sad, oh no. <laughs> Apparently, she's a pretty little thing and young to boot. I'm fucking jealous. I'm going to kill her later. I suppose being young girl is all it takes to capture a man's attention. That's why mine left me. I'm going to go grovel in my home now. Maybe we should go and see this diva for ourselves so we can take a quick walk around town. Uh, there's the general store. There's another house. There's more house. There's more house. House. Not house. <laughs> Hi, I'm a single NPC. Love me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'm so fucking lonely, help! <laughs> what do you mean the devs didn't make me fucking romanceable? What is this shit? <laughs> so this is the town's tavern, huh? It's busier than I thought it would be. Are you a fan of these places? I don't know. I've hardly been to any. I'm not old enough to drink alcohol, so there wasn't much point. Anyway, let's see what people have to say. Bro, there's one substance I don't trust myself to ever try, and it's alcohol. I don't want to know what drunk me looks like. Personally. Well, she is really pretty. Is her hair green? Or is it the lighting? 
I don't know. Very, very pretty girl, though. Fan of the design. Blonde, all right, yeah. It's just the lighting. Are you a fan of emos, too? <laughs> I mean... Look. <laughs> So me and on uh, so uh, my opinions on mentally unstable women are please. <laughs> uh, oh, we're not talking about that kind of emo. Never mind. <laughs> Forget what I said. <laughs> There's something not quite human about her. Although I suppose that adds her mysterious charm. <laughs> Did not mean to open my menu. There we go. There's nothing better than relaxing with a cold beer and listening to emo. <laughs> it does that like the jokes are writing themselves. <laughs> but man, emo music can be pretty lit. What can I say? <laughs> As if having a beautiful voice, well, enough, she looks impeccable too. <laughs> I wish I could pull that off. <laughs> that emo shirt is popular. <laughs> God, it is not. <laughs> but why not this song? <laughs> why are you singing this song on the specific moment when I'm in the building? How dare you? Oh, so you're awake after all. What's gotten you all worked up? Don't treat me like a child. You have to stop this song right now. Where is it coming from? Who the hell is singing this song? You. What on earth has gotten into you? You're yelling like a madman. Yeah, geezer, you can't be rude to emo like that. Have you lost your mind? Emo, was it? You kids have no idea. How about you step inside, listen to Lorelai's awful ballad for yourself, then tell me I've lost my mind. Lorelai's ballad? That's what I said. I heard it myself. That song the girl just sang, it was the same thing I heard before my boat started taking in water. It's witchcraft. Mark my words. He must been in the tavern this whole time. Meanwhile, you're out here hearing voices in the sea. <laughs> What's to say you weren't just imagining this Lorelei, eh? Tish. So that's what you think, is it? Fine, I'll see how it is. Tish. Well, I ain't gonna stick around. Tish. I nearly escaped death on the sea. I'll be damned if I'm about to let some witch curse me here on land. Tish. Yeah, my improv is off today. I'm gonna be real. Hmm. Don't mind him, Emo. He's just super I'd say he lost his boat. All his guns were on there. That's why he said they were lost in the boating accident when a federal agent came to his house. Won't stand for this at my tavern. One day someone's actually gonna lose their bun their, their buns, their guns in the boating accident. <laughs> but then the feds won't buy it. Her portrait is adorable. It is. It is a very cute portrait. Emo, be a good girl and sing us something uplifting, won't you? That should cheer everybody up. Come now, patrons. Raise your glasses. It's not like they'd be catching any fish even if they did have boats. All there is to do is drink. And lucky you, we have the best music that booze the side of the seaside. He's right. Cheers to the landlord. Ah. Uh, my enemy. Where is my pre where's my copy of Progress on Poverty? I need to enact a land tax real quick. Mm. I'll be seeing you behind the tavern tonight for a regular chat. Well, that isn't foreboding. I'm sorry, man. Who greenlit her being named Emo? <laughs> uh, what's wrong? I got a bad feeling just now. There's something off about the way that guy spoke to her, don't you think? They're going to meet behind the tavern. Let's see here. Where am I going now? I don't see a thing. Oh, they mean behind as an outside. Got it. 
Okay. Okay, it wasn't that behind, apparently. <laughs> this is the side of the tavern. Come on. <laughs> the owner definitely told her to meet him behind the bar, right? It's a good thing we're right in view. Good thing my peripheral vision ain't working today. These are all the tips you got today. Bunch of cheap, penniless bums. A lot of them. Me, me, me. God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to take it seriously. The meeps are just... The meeps are <laughs> just making me chuckle internally. Because <laughs> I keep thinking of Roadrunner. <laughs> the ship isn't ready yet because we simply don't have the money. You need to work harder. Me. Give you back the stone? I suppose you're considering building a boat by yourself, hmm? Foolish child, if I can't prepare a boat fast enough, what makes you think that you can? You gotta learn your place. It was I who took you in, who gave you shelter. You owe me your life. Now, none of this foolishness. I expect better of you tomorrow. Don't dis- Don't dis a tip drop position like that, man. <laughs> I work hard. I got my ass beat this weekend. And I'm gonna beat yours next. <laughs> Let's go see if she's okay. Hi, we were eavesdropping. Man looks like a fancy meatball. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Ellipse. Quiet, he'll come back if you make any noise. <laughs> what is a man, man? <laughs> Meep. A miserable pile of meeps. <laughs> Huh, that stone made an audio cue. Did you find something? Look, it's silent now. Looks like a lair that guy must have dropped earlier. Reeks of something evil. What is that? I don't think he'll mind if we read it. You read the letter. Hey, Nickel House, I hear business is booming. All my girls have run off home with their own villages, so it's been a struggle on my end. Is Pet the Dragon not working? It should be. Or did it not? Or did it work and I just missed it? Hold on, let me test it out. It worked? Okay, I missed it. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> All my girls have run off home to their own villages, so it's been a struggle on my end. They're all worried about family, and with the seaside being the way it is, I can't believe they'd be so selfish. So I'm writing you this letter to see if you're still interested in selling that girl of yours. Emo, was it? I think your price is reasonable, so let's proceed with the paperwork. I look forward to hearing from you. Oh god, they're gonna turn the emo into a new girl. We can't let that de-evolution happen. That's what it looks like. He stank of a low-life scumbag, but to think he would actually stoop so low. How can someone think so lowly of another human life that they feel they have the right to sell it? I suppose such a weak awareness of human rights is typical in this day and age, though. Do you think we should let the girl know about his plan? Maybe for the best. Okay, let's tell her. Bring him with us to the tavern tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Emo bathwater? <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. I mean, she'd probably make better tips that way, which is depressing. I mean, I gotta come back tomorrow and I... I think it's gonna... I think it's gonna actually stick to that. Uh, where is a Monus Monolite or whatever the fuck it was called? There has to be one at the front. There is one at the front. Return. Warp home. There we go. Okay. Open the storage box. God, I'm so mad I didn't discover the thing with the Y button <laughs> until recently. E 
emo only fans. It's called only bins. <laughs> yeah, I think she's the girl I saw art of. More than likely. I do approve of the design. Mountain stir fry. Make another. Otherwise, I will die out in the wilderness. <laughs> it gets even better because you could say an emo uh, fansly would be called a finsley. <laughs> Harvest Stellar Wheat. That is so close to the title of the game. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna plant some grass. Watch this. Grass. Okay, now I need the hoe. I know I feel sleepy. Uh, I guess I'll put it here. Where else I can go? Bam! Bam! <laughs> I don't get tired of that one. Fish hub? <laughs> I guess it would be close to the fishbowl. <laughs> what, um... Do I have mail? I'm taking care of the child. Meet me at the Jade Forest. Who could have written this letter? Try going to the Jade Forest to find out more. We'll be fine so long as we're together. From Annie. I'm getting ready to go to Halatz's home, as I expected. Nana doesn't understand what it means to be adopted yet. I bet there'll be some fighting when it comes time to leave the orphanage. I don't know what the future holds, but so long as I'm with Nana, every day will be filled with tons of fun. I just know it will. That's sweet. <laughs> um. Ugh. I guess After Dark would just be called the fucking Mario. I was trying to think of what the Deep Ocean is, like, called more often. Maybe it's just called Deep Ocean. Mariana's Trench. I don't fucking know. I don't think I have anything else I need to do right now, so I'm just gonna hit the bed. The already? I'm just getting warmed up. I have to hit the hay. I have to touch hay all the time. I'm a farmer. Rise. Wake up, rise. Welcome to heaven. You died in your sleep. <laughs> you are now going to fight God immediately. <laughs> We skipped the preamble and the rest is JRPG. We're just going we're just jump we're just jumping straight into it. <laughs> You're ready. You have it. You got two mountain stir fries. That'll be enough. I believe in you. Hello again. Hello again. It looks like you touched the stone again. Has your impression changed at all? Touch the stone? What stone? Was it the was it the sea's light? I remember touching a stone. When did I touch stone? It hasn't. Ma'am, I don't smoke weed. I can, I'm not stoned. I promise. <laughs> well, either way, the world has made much of what you perceive. After you killed Dwagon. Am I that deep into my Helldiver's brain rot that I'm just forgetting everything? I mean, I've literally been seeing Tyranids when I close my eyes. I'm not exaggerating. Like, I am seeing it, like, I am seeing the outlines of Tyranids in my head whenever I close my eyes. Along with the inputs for some stratagems. I need help. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> oh, he's there, swaying with your understanding like shadow puppetry. But enough of that. I see you like the gift that I gave you before. I have a new one to give you too. Please use it well. Is it a bigger hammer? 
Can I be, can I be a bigger hammer? I need, I need a bigger hammer. I really need a bigger hammer. Hey, yo, another straw, buddy. Wait, does that mean I sold you, Mila? Uh oh. I want, I, I want to revoke that transaction. I want my straw buddy back. Give me my straw buddy back. <laughs> yeah, there's some commotion outside. Calm motion. There's some calm emotion. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see this calm motion. Oh god, there's two of them. <laughs> so? So? Is the spring seas light safe? Pretty much. I did wonder when that egg thingy got stuck to it, though. <laughs> New friend? Oh boy, more dialogue to make me lose my train of thought. It's a friend of yours? Friend? Did you forget what I told you already? Ugh! You went and saved the day over by the spring seas light, right? What's all the noise? <gasps> More bugs? Ooh, we're not bugs, we're great fairies. I'm like the fairy of the spring seas light. Oh, right. <laughs> so this is one of the other fairies you mentioned. He each rule over one of the four classical elements. Fucking avatar bullshit. Um, the four classical elements. R right, got in got it in one. <laughs> Interesting. So you're the source of this planet's power, hmm? The great spring fairy. You created the wind, is that right? Created? You like that? Think that was me? Okay, the, this voice does not fit her. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> hey, is that so strange? You're the great fairy, source of the world's power, bringer of wind. You're like Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. <laughs> Oh, I totally get it now. That's what you've been telling the humans? Ahem, she's right, you know? I'm the Great Wind Fairy, creator of the Gale. How'd I do, Stephanie? That, this'll make us tons of snacks, right? <laughs> you lied to us, Stephanie. <laughs> I told you this is from the start. <laughs> Turns out fairies are nothing but trying little tricksters. Now where do you keep the bug spray? Aw, oh, come on, I had such a good thing going and you messed it all up. That's, like, so mean. I did my best to join in. You've been lying from the very start with all this fire fairy nonsense. Fire is nothing more than a chemical phenomenon. Look at Aristotle's four element theory. Which gives rise to a new question. What are you, really? Hmm, what are we? I guess just we just, like, live around the sea's light. Kind of like took up space there. Squatters' rights. We stand squatters' rights. <laughs> it gives rise. <laughs> the puns have started. We're reaching this point in my content creator journey. Where puns are being made out of my name. That I haven't invoked. <laughs> That's not all, obviously. I'm just giving all the fairies this voice looking. I guess I may as well tell you, like, the jig is up and all. We're the Seas Light Supervisors. We go around making sure they're in tip-top shape. We do, like, de desk, work, desk work and stuff. Paperwork and all that jazz. <laughs> what on earth gave you that role? Uh-oh, that was... Actually, I have no idea. <laughs> and here, I thought I might have found another clue. How could you forget something so important? What I gather from this new information is that you're no more than a gopher. <laughs> Wow, I like the sound of that. Gophers are cute. Whoa, whoa, I, I don't agree to that. What makes that term make you sad? I did not read that correctly. I know I did not read that correctly. Fuck, I am tired. I was up to like 4 a.m. last night. It was annoying. Ugh. From great fonts of the world's power to lackeys of the sea's light. That's quite a drop in rank. <laughs> Not that it matters. I don't believe you from the start. <laughs> I believe them. Make them feel bad. Well, now I feel bad. Still, it doesn't sound like it was all a complete lie. There was an abnormality at the spring sea's light, after all. 
This era would be a total mess right now if we had left the Heaven's Egg and those dragons all alone. That's right, That's which is why you should go and check on the rest of the Sea's Light. <laughs> An extra farm hand would be appreciated. <laughs> Raw selfishness. Wait, no, that's not... <laughs> if something terrible happens in this time, then there'll be no way for me to return to my own. Okay, it's decided. Let me know when you're ready to visit the other two Sea's Light. All right, what are we naming her? Brass? <laughs> I was gonna go up Becky. I was going with Becky because of the voice I gave her. <laughs> oh my God, Becky, look at her C's like. It's so dying. <laughs> Grassandra, <laughs> it'll fit. I'll do that one. It fits. Grassandra, <laughs> a new Grassandra order has been added. <laughs> Harvest the cucumber. No straw buddies. Young onions are ready though. You got a letter. <laughs> You got a letter. Wing exercise. Oh god, that's a lot. Okay, time to read. Thank you for bringing those ingredients. It makes things so much easier when someone is around to help. As I expected, I'm going to need to keep asking you to bring me items in lieu of money for your medical bills. Speaking of which, there's a new ingredient I need. Please bring one ring of re-ice flowers from the Jade Forest. <laughs> she sounds stone. I mean, honestly, yeah. Castle Lewis News, monster near Nemea slain. Greetings, citizens. This is an update from Castle Lewis on the unidentified monster that appeared in the vicinity of Pneumonia Town. The monster, which hatched from a large bag, was spotted at the spring seaside, has been slain by the Lewis Kingdom Brigade. We hope this sends a clear message to any unknown monsters who attempt to menace pneumonia again. We, Lewis Kingdom Brigade, continue to work to interest in... While investigations are ongoing, please continue to avoid the spring seaside until permission is given. The seaside imposes no immediate threat to life unless close contact is made. Castle Lewis Intelligence Division. <laughs> It'll be nice to see you again. I hope you've been keeping well. That was quite the drama from pneumonia went through. <laughs> Once things have settled with you, it'd be nice to see your face at the orphanage. The children have been asking to say hello. I look forward to seeing you. <laughs> it's funny, she said. I would look. I would look forward to. See it would be nice to see her face in the orphanage. I just saw her like killing my parents <laughs> to like get me over there. <laughs> uh, that's completely out of character. Uh, thank you. Mm, thank you for help before. No more dragons have been spotted in town since we came back from even the egg, and everything returned to how it was before. When do I have time? I'd love for you to come back and see pneumonia again, now that everything is back to normal. See you later. Um... Yeah, I can't think of any, like, thing equivalent to cheers in Russian. Cheers. Asshole. Oh, that was a lot of... That was a lot of... Um... That was a lot of mail. Alright. Um, fucking... The fish slave trade can wait. I'm gonna go see pretty ladies at orphanages and other places. Onion juice? Fuck it. We're making onion juice. Alright, god, I have so much shit in my storage box. <laughs> Poor emo. <laughs> What can I say? I prefer hot goth girls to hot emo girls. <laughs> and hot doctors. Who could have been emo. She's very close to the one from Persona 5. Just needs a few changes in hair color and maybe some eye, and maybe some eyeshadow and eyeliner. She's perfect. Perfect replica. Hey, yo, you selling anything? I could make a feed maker, however, I don't have place to 
put things. So... I can buy it. Oh my god, I can buy it. Okay, we're buying it. What do we name him? What do we name him? What, what am I naming him? What am I naming him? Um, 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 uh, try not to go with Fluffy. I'm trying not to just be stupid and go with Fluffy. Um, I'm thinking. Milla Jr. <laughs> Uh, you know what, sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll question the idea of me. Yeah, I, I, I won't say anything. <laughs> makes your totak, makes your to totokaku stronger. Feed that strengthens the totokaku, increases their movement speed, unlocks new actions. <laughs> I love the noise it makes. <laughs> Ugh. I'll question you know, I'll question why you were so determined to have me ride your daughter and or son later Mila Tuh. see I didn't want to not say the joke because I didn't think it was funny or I had standards or anything I just wanted to make it I just didn't know how to phrase it I'll see if you got the item for her shh we bought it. We bought Fluffy Rabbit. We bought Fluffy Rabbit. This was not a waste of time. Technically, this will save us time. Kind of. In a roundabout way, it kind of saves us time. I love, I love Milo Jr. Later. Time to ride Milo Jr. When the transport menu by pressing Y in the world map. Brown, they're faster than travel foot, making possible traveling long distances in a short amount of time. You can buy the feed, feeding your Tataku will improve its abilities. What a no! I love them! I love them. <laughs> the mic peak. <laughs> That's surprising. You know when I'm screaming as loud as I can, like my mic doesn't peak. But me with a fluffy rabbit. You will fluffy rabbit is an entirely different story. Alright, let's go see Hot Goth Girl. She got the hips, but does she got the riz? That's what we need to find out. Can she riz the rise? Let's see. I take it you got my letter then? You must be here to see the children. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would love to say what letter. Great, well you've come just in time. Playtime is just about to start. Come along. Ah oh, shit. I gotta show off my parental skills. This is gonna suck. So that's how the prince and the princess slayed the evil monster. In graphic detail. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have maybe I shouldn't have read an, a high fantasy novel with extremely graphic details to children, but you know what? This is what I pulled off the shelves. The end. Damn, she just stored it in her fucking ass. Right, <laughs> uh, it reminds me of Sonic characters just pulling shit out of their asses. Well, kids, what do you think of today's book? I'm traumatized. <laughs> I want to go to their castle. Sounds like you liked it. Tomorrow's picture book is about a girl who gets transported into a strange world. <laughs> Have you ever heard of isekai children? Well, you're about to. <laughs> it starts with them being run over by a truck. <laughs> He's my favorite character. <laughs> She's gone. Do you need to tell her something? No, I just wanted to put the book away. Aww. 
You're always trying to show off for Mrs. Stina. N no, I'm not. I just wanted to help. Yeah, right. You've gone bright red. He has a really big crush on Mrs. Stina. He's always on his best behavior around her. So, children, there's this thing called consent laws. And unless you want Mrs. Stina to be arrested, I would recommend going somewhere else. Also, I call dibs, maybe. Mm. What do you think of Mrs. Stina? <laughs> I love her. She's pretty and cool and nice. I want to be just like her when I grow up. I'm back. What? Did I miss something? We were just sharing secrets. But it didn't take you long to bond with the kids. Now then, everyone, next is study time. The head teacher is waiting for you, so don't be late. Yes, ma'am. Coming in soon, Rise. If I go for Estina, am I going to be indirectly traumatizing a child? <laughs> Thanks for today. How was it? I bet you're exhausted after playing with the kids. I'm alright, actually. Well, I'm impressed. Even we teachers get worn out most of the time. It was lovely to see the kids enjoying themselves today. They've had such a hard time adjusting since we lost Tiela. It was a big shock for them. The day I saw innocent smiles on their faces I haven't seen in a long while. It's actually kind of concerning how they moved on from the grief really fast. That's, uh... What am I raising here? All I can do is the meantime is read books for them. You like reading? Yes. Yes, I do. But I'm reading. I can forget whatever is going on in the real world. I know it's probably not the best reason to read, but no matter how harsh reality is, I can always get lost in the world of a book for a short while. There's so much I can learn about from the world from books, bro. Smells like smoke in the house, like cigarette smoke. It's fucking with my smell. Because I hate that stench a lot. I wanted to share that with the kids so they know there's more out there than just what they've grown up with. I wish I had someone to do the same for me growing up. I should start reading more. Maybe you should. I'll lend you a good book next time. Hey, Rise, could I ask you something? Actually, never mind. Thanks for the day. Come by again when you get a chance. The kids would be happy to see you. Well then, see you. I'll write to you again if anything comes up. We're one step of the way there. Ooh, my critical hit rate went up. She also gave me a fucking zombie mushroom. <laughs> thank you for reading, for, thank you for spending time with the children. Here's some gross oozing fucking piece of fungus <laughs> to show my appreciation. <laughs> You want better? Come back here later, bitch. Uh, okie dokie. Uh, it is coming time for our regularly scheduled ad break, so I'll go ahead and send y'all off on for a little bit. This is a perfect time to get some snacks, get some water, get something to eat, just use the bathroom, do whatever y'all humans need to do. And after that, we'll be right back to everything in just a minute. So with all that being said, bye uh, for now. Oh, let me set up something real quick. Uh, there we go. Okay, now bye for now.
Howdy, howdy, everybody. Oh, shit, this is still on. Is it like on, on, or okay, yeah, it's on, on. There we go. <laughs> howdy, howdy, everybody. Hope y'all had a good break. I investigated that smell, but I don't know. Like, there's something. It's not good. It ain't coming from my computer, is it? Let me make sure it's not coming from my computer. Hold on. It is not coming from my computer. I do not know where this smell is coming from. <laughs> uh, but I investigated the whole house. I'm hoping I don't have anything that smells in my room at the moment. I hope not. But yeah, I don't know where that's coming from. Regardless, hope everybody had a good break. I just did a little sleuthing and sniffing. Mm. We now return to your regularly scheduled me trying to pull half-baked and mid-jokes out of my ass while I'm... Tired as shit mentally. Hmm. It's okay though. Streaming improves my mental health. Especially on Tuesday. Figure out why. <laughs> uh, let's see. So now I need to go find an asshole. Where is he? Where is asshole? I remember he is on the lower ground. Oh yeah, I have a map. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Just don't hit the center of the controller eyes. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hmm. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for always keeping an eye on everything, asshole. You must be hungry. Help yourself too, sweet. I got some really yummy ones earlier. That's really kind of you. Are you sure? I am starving. Hey asshole, when are you off next? I'm itching to go fishing again soon. I've been got I've been catching like crazy when you've been gone. Uh, is that so? We'll need to have a little competition on my next day off. Excuse me, Mr. Asshole. Isn't Yella with you today? I haven't seen her at all lately. I hope she's okay. Oh, well. I guess word hasn't reached the little ones yet, eh? Tiella went back to her hometown. Isn't that right, asshole? What? Really? But we didn't get to say bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry about that. She kind of fucking died. <laughs> that doesn't mean she's gone for good, eh? She'll be back to visit. You sure? Okay, next time I see you, I'll say bye-bye properly. Good idea. Oh, Rise. I didn't see you there. What are you up to today? came to see how you were doing. How are you coping with Tiella's death? You know, Tiella, who died. The Tiella we killed. We killed together. You killed her. You dealt the final blow. The de it made her dead. A dead Tiella. How do you feel about that? Hmm. Wait till we catch up back in my house. Jesus Christ, this man's moving fast. <laughs> Pretty much done with rounds. So I've got time to burn. Burn like my f the fire in my hut for Mother Russia. <laughs> in that case, I'll catch everyone again later. Excuse me. Hey, how you feeling about your dead girlfriend? <laughs> your girlfriend who's dead that you killed. <laughs> that dead girlfriend. How you feel? How you feeling right now, buddy? Your dead girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty popular, huh? Popular, stop. You're making me blush. That is not very manly, nor Russian. It is nice though that always, everyone always comes up with lively chat at the end of the day. The yellow would always scold me for how long I spend outside. Speaking of which, I guess you heard that conversation earlier. But the yellow. Uh. Then tell them the truth. <laughs> Dumbass, she's fucking 12. <laughs> I figured it would only confuse them if they be even believed in me at all. Don't think Tiela would want anyone to be hurt by truth either. Find out eventually, though. I know that. Don't even know how I would go about telling the truth. Honestly, I don't think I've come to terms with it myself. Oh, it's easy. You killed her. You, you killed her. You dealt the final blow. 
You went all fucking anime on her, like, Psh! and she blew up. Graphically, it was, it was, it was it, graphically, it was very sad. It was very emotional. But, it, but it was all you. It was all you, buddy. So just a really, just a really big like stab, just stabbing your girlfriend, and not, and, and not in the sexual way. Like you, you, like you just took your fucking lance and you just right into, right into your big old dragon chest. <laughs> <laughs> but I promise her. I promise I protect the world she loves so much. Although sometimes I wonder if I'll be able to keep it. You need to believe in yourself. Will that be enough though? The more I think about it, the more I realize my own limitations. The extent of my own reach. Bitch, you jumped up like a fucking mile in the air, and then you just came like fucking down like the goddamn like a goddamn thunderbolt from fucking Zeus, and then went like just right through her, just right through your girlfriend, like, just right through her, just fucking obliterated her. The extent of your own reach is the fucking heavens with how high you're fucking jumping, bitch. She exploded in the gory flower petals. <laughs> yeah. I can only protect the small corner of this world on my own. Mile. Mile into the fucking air. A whole mile. Full on anime. I'm not strong enough as I am now. I need to find greater power to find the help more people. I'm going to I'm going to kill you. I'm gonna lose, but I'm going to kill you. Like you do, Rise. I Somebody smack this man. S somebody smack this man right now. You're already doing a great job. Somebody smack him. Right across the face. Man's got fucking protagonist energy. That's coursing through his veins and he's not acknowledging it. <laughs> Asshole, you're holding the murder weapon. He is the murder weapon, Milla. He literally is. Man is a fucking tactical nuke. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks for today. I'll let you know if I need uh, to pick your brain again. Like lobotomy in ancient Egypt. <laughs> or what we did to communist rate, or, or what we did to people who did not believe in communism. Just pick their brains out of their skull. We got the weak capitalist parts. <laughs> Tactical British man. Not in this stream. <laughs> he is a fervent, cold-blooded Russian. The voice actor just had the wrong direction. That's all that happened. He was meant to be Russian. Trust me, I I, I looked at the Square Enix building when I totally went to Japan one time. That is totally a thing I did and totally a thing that happened. See you later. <laughs> See you later. It's not like you can just call me at any time. Spiritually. Do a save real quick. And we'll go to Jade Forest because we apparently have things to do over there. Bye bye. Uh, time to ride Milla Jr. All right. Let's see what's over. Let's go south. Fight some goblins. Make circuit light on fire. <laughs> there we go. Like that. Pick that up. Fight the goblin. Beat the goblin. No more goblin. What? I'm sorry. That's the side I need to build it from. The fuck? <laughs> Wait, no, no, man. This is the wrong side of the bridge to repair it from. You gotta repair it from the other side. Like the fucking the grain on the wood over here. Like it's wrong. You think you, you think that's gonna work over here? Fucking idiot. Goblin D's nuts. <laughs> Q 
Okay, avoid that little man over there. I need to eat something. Um, I could eat the fire laid fruit. Dangerous fruit that sparks when raves and scatters seeds upon impact. Cape out of reach of children. Children, I'm gonna eat it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Doesn't seem very dangerous. What the government doesn't want you to know about firelight fruit, you can just eat it. <laughs> just throw it against your loved ones, they'll be fine. Nothing will happen to them. I tend to build bridges. A repair kit finally came in handy. Still cannot build that. Hmm. Still love how the fucking goblins walk, though. It's funny. Over this way. Do that. Perfect. <laughs> Just look at the little walk. It's like <laughs> but, I don't know, he seems pretty harmless without he's walking. Alright. Received re ice flowers. <laughs> Nod. Plenty of hard lumber. That's what they used to call me back in the prisons. <laughs> hard lumber. <laughs> Come on, dude. You gotta be more anime than that. You just slide down the entire ladder. Be cool about it. What is happening over here? Okay, my turn. Holy shit, it's Ike from Fire Emblem. He's gonna fight for his friends. Those humans are going down. Your perception is skewed, little boy. My mission is to preserve the environment. I am not here to attack Abel's. Ooh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am maintaining the ecosystem in this very forest through my cloud. <laughs> I don't know what an ecosystem is, but that sounds cool. <laughs> Who's that? See, you read my letter. Many thanks. What are you pl doing playing with a kid? <laughs> I did not mean to play with him. He just showed up, started saying random shit like... Ether. And prepare yourself, and then just told me to go along with it. <laughs> what the fuck is- what the fuck is a- Fuck, what's the name of the continent? Is it Telia? <laughs> is it Telia for the Radiant Games? I forgot. I forgot the name of the continent in that- in the- The Ike Games. Apparently the game is called Princess and the Omen. I found this boy wandering around, looking lost while I was carrying out my routine environmental checks. <laughs> Child told me I had Riz. What does this mean, human? <laughs> what did it mean when I said I had a level 10 yacht? <laughs> <laughs> what is a grimace shake? Is it poisonous? Bro, fucking, I never looked at it, but like, bro, look look at his fucking feet. Man got a triple peg leg right there. Man's got fucking tripods for shoes. I'm avoiding making a what are those joke. 
Could you possibly take him for me? <laughs> I just hope you're not wasting time on this instead of, you know, preventing a slave trade of a fishwoman. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> what? I'm never ever going back to the village, ever! <laughs> Hardcore anime run. <laughs> Music fits. This does not add up. Children are supposed to be there with their parents. Why would he refuse to go back? <laughs> and after I explain that such links in, that is dangerous to go deeper into the forest. There must be a reason behind it. <laughs> I wonder what reason it could be. Thank you for the headpads, Mila. At any rate, the situation has become complicated. We must resolve it. Let's go after the boy. Okie dokie. He is... that way. He will go this way. He will run. <laughs> Look at him move. <laughs> Look at him schmoovin. This little nya 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 I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Nya 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 nya. Help! Mom! Dad! I'm sorry for being- I'm sorry for trying to RP as an orphan. <laughs> there we go. That was so easy. Good God, get good, child. I've known children who have done orphan RP. What the fuck? <laughs> John, John, let, let's pretend our parents are dead for this for uh, this play date. Okay. <laughs> I'll be the assassin that gives you the tragic backstory. Where'd you where'd you put the cyanide again? <laughs> Why did you go further into the forest knowing it's dangerous? I thought I advised you no strongly warned you not to. <laughs> Cause my parents didn't give me orange juice this morning. They gave me apple. I wanted orange. <laughs> Hem, our parents are dead. We must sell legal stuff to stay alive. <laughs> we need to get into the fucking we need to become fucking drug dealers. <laughs> Emma, we need to cook. <laughs> We need to RP as Walter Wright, but his parents are dead. Also, he's a child. But we'll still say he's bald. Uh, staying here would be highly illogical. Because... Wah. Yes, too many questions at once. I will leave it to you then, Abel. You would know how to talk to your own kind. <laughs> What's cook we, we must cook mac and cheese and sell it on the dark web. <laughs> uh, that's one of the funniest sentences I've read all week. Uh, why did you run away, little guy? <laughs> we must cook mac and cheese and sell it on the dark web. <laughs> Because mommy and daddy are never home. They're always working, and I'm always left all on my own. I eat on my own, sleep on my own. Other kids don't have to do that. Homie, you're gonna... This self-sufficiency is gonna be great in the long run, believe me. You know how... You're gonna know how to buy a house before you're ten. <laughs> No, they don't. They hate me. They leave me on my own because they don't love me anymore. You've come to the wrong conclusion. What do you mean? <laughs> Mommy and Daddy never give me happy meals. Fuck them. <laughs> Yo, I'm... So, there's this really bad um, movie called The Birds. And, like, during it, like, like long story short, uh, birds go crazy and start to, like, kill people. Um, and 
<laughs> like, at some point in the movie, like, there are some kids who, like, their parents are fucking dead. They're rescued by the main, the group of main characters. And when they're trying to eat, like, they're just sitting down like, I want a Happy Meal. And just, <laughs> I'm like, bro, if I was there, I would just grab him up by, like, this fucking scruff of his goddamn shirt or his neck or whatever the fuck. I'd just be like, listen here, you little shit. The McDonald's workers, dead. The CEO of McDonald's, fucking dead. Your parents, dead. All we have here is the fucking pine cones we found on the ground and the few berries that might be poisonous that we picked off the fucking bush. You're gonna eat this shit and you're gonna fucking shut up. Understood? <laughs> uh, that's all I think about when you said that. Uh, you said that just as much as a child depends on the parents, parents depend on them too. It's improbable that your parents would leave you on your own without reason. <laughs> Eat the pine cold and also keep in mind it's our toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is nature's Swiss army knife. <laughs> Should ask them for their reasoning and understand the basis of their actions. I don't know what all these big words mean. He's saying you should talk to them. He's saying you should argue with them. <laughs> oh my god. Why do you want to send me home so much? Even though you spend all that time playing with me. I was not playing with you, I was only protecting you. Do you hate me too? It's not about liking you or hating you. I'm trying to restore order and put things the way they should be. Uh, yo, Dur Durin, Durin Repes. Really big nuclear family, Stan. <laughs> we got a tr fucking trad husband over here. <laughs> we all have our own role to play, and I have my own mission to complete. <laughs> You're getting in the way of that mission. Daddy, my butt's being in a blind going, Shut up, Timmy! <laughs> <laughs> Look, when you get to my age, you don't wipe until you're bleeding already. I'm just teaching you that lesson early. <laughs> <laughs> Can I leave him with you? Yeah, I'll take him. <laughs> you have my thanks. <laughs> Wipe the pain, Timmy, literally. <laughs> literally just what you have to do at some point. You know you're getting old when it, when seeing red on the toilet paper is the norm. Well, it's what you're supposed to do. You don't say. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. I think I've gotten lost. Using bell. I have six bells. My work has toilet paper that disintegrates when wet. I think every workplace has the cheapest fucking toilet paper they can fucking imagine. <laughs> All of them, like every single fucking one. Also, I don't think I ever watered the plants today. Let me take care of that. Insufficient stamina, you're insufficient stamina. Fuck you. I'm going to... Eat this stir fry. Then what are you gonna do then? She is high. Snack. Farm work is pretty good wing exercise. The good thing I remembered to water my shit. <laughs> okay, now to go in here. Grab that. <laughs> Sell mac and cheese on the dark web rise. I haven't unlocked that recipe yet. <laughs> All I can sell it. All I can sell is fucking cucumber fucking sliders or some shit. Literally, who the fuck would eat this? Uh, 
Escort Ike back to Laith. There we are. They're back. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> My game is super expensive! How is anybody ever going to buy it off of eBay now? <laughs> Bet my mom and dad aren't even worried about me. Because they don't love me. You got to talk to them face to face. Even if I wanted to, they're not even at home. Meanwhile, Emo's actually being sold on the dark web. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> We're such good people. <laughs> Look, I'm Italian. My priority is the pasta. You don't understand. <laughs> my priority is the pasta. The mac and cheese. There ain't no fish. Ever, you ever seen fish on a pizza? Ignore anchovies. They don't exist. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. We were so worried. Mom, Dad, what are you doing here? We were looking for you everywhere, naturally. Where were you all this time? Are you hurt? I hope you didn't see anything scary. I only saw my life flash before my eyes. It was a lot of waking up, eating, waking up, eating, waking up, eating, sleeping, waking up, eating, and then that. My life is very boring. <laughs> you're much more important to us than work. But you're always at work and you never spend any time with me. We're sorry, I have obviously being very, been feeling very lonely. You've had to put up with us being absent for so long. And really, we should have been at home indulging you this home time. <laughs> Who needs to pay rent? <laughs> Who the fuck needs to pay rent? Just become homeless. Uh, talking was the right thing to do. Yeah! <laughs> fuck money, we have love. <laughs> fuck breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> All we need to survive is the love between us as a family. Though that love is only going to last us about a few days. Shorter if we don't have any water either. But it's okay. The, 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 we'll get through the diseases we get out of the river. Just off of love alone. Come on, I've got a nice hot dinner ready for you at home. I'm going home now. Thank you for sticking with me. Could you thank that omen for me too, please? I love how he just said that out loud in front of his parents. Just like, the what? <laughs> the who? <laughs> if he's still there to thank, that is. See you later. Thanks again. <laughs> They're, they just don't care. They don't care who he was with. They just care that he was safe. That's cute. <laughs> Can you thank Satan himself for taking care of me? <laughs> Just like, did you hear what he said? Don't worry about it, dear. He's back home safe and sound. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay. Let's stop the slave trade. So inconvenient. You'd have to start a whole war to stop that shit. Why even bother? <laughs> Actually, didn't the slave trade stop, like, before the Civil War? Like, the, like, the actual, like, I, the slaves were still being traded, but I think, like, importing them stopped, and it was just all, um, people were just going off of, like, you know, the children they made, like, on the plantations and stuff. Where's Cece? I need my history guy to confirm this. Yes, it did. It did stop, or it was still going. Maybe emo isn't working today. It stopped, okay. <laughs> it would need to become more inconvenient. There we go. History was not my uh, strong suit. Oh, we were talking to the bartender. I thought we were going outside to investigate. Eh. Where's emo? What business do you have with her? We'd like to speak to Emo, if we may. 
Sure you do, but the landlord says nobody to see a D diva without a say so. It's really important. He's currently away on business one town over. Say so could be gone a while. This way. At least in the U.S. I, I'm pretty sure, well, maybe it kept going in Britain because it was closer to Africa. I'm unsure. Wait, it's fuck. I, I, I keep forgetting exactly where I'm going. I'm too busy trying to recall what little history knowledge I have. Okay, there we go. But I do know slavery stopped in Britain and like other European countries before the US. We had to have a whole war over it. I took American history last semester. I know a lot of slaves and prisoners were shipped to Australia during the French and Indian War. God, I don't even remember what the time period was for those. It just, history was not my strong suit at all. Cause when I was growing up, I was just like, okay, it happened. But it's not happening anymore. <laughs> well, a lot of shit. <laughs> like now, now I'm older. Like I understand the importance. But when I was like growing up, like it was just like I'm like, where is this going to be practical for me? And now that I'm taking economics, it's a bit more practical for me. <laughs> now I need to understand what like caused a bunch of shit. Yeah, it's practical for me now. Slaves officially stopped being dropped off around the end of the American Revolution. Oh, okay. Yeah, the history class um I took in um, my college courses, I don't really think I took American history. I think I took like a Western Civ. So I learned more about like early European history in mine because like I could have taken more American history, but like literally I had spent like the past 12 fucking years of my life Learning <laughs> nothing but American history. Sometimes the same subjects repeatedly over and over with slightly more detail. So I was just like, let me learn something a little newer. It was an all right class, but it was still like, it, like the habits of like me taking history were like pretty, um, it's still pretty like set in stone. So I was still kind of like, uh, I'd rather be in my economics class or my, uh, or my writing class, or any other class. It was my least favorite class during that semester. And the entire pro project on the Salem and the Witch Trials was really interesting. Oh, I can bet. The Witch Trials was a really interesting part of history in general. Uh, so what's the deal? What's so important you got me breaking the rules? You show them the letter. Meep, I'm listed on eBay. Huh, well then. Looks like your boss intends to sell you to another establishment. You can't stay here any longer. That bastard. So this is what his business trip's about. What can you tell us? What's wrong? Meep. <laughs> Meep, not eBay. <laughs> At least to Amazon. <laughs> Actually, no, that'd be worse. Um. Newegg. <laughs> If you really squint and think about it, I'm kind of technology. <laughs> Can't speak any human language you or I might know. <laughs> not Craig, no, not Craigslist. That's the worst one. <laughs> the boss is able to understand it without any problem, though. Me, Emo seems to agree. That could be a problem. How else are we supposed to communicate? Do you know where she's from? Nope, the landlord just turned up with her one day. People, at least it's Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> uh, I guess that's like wish tier. Which is just like you would not get what you paid for. I don't know. What's the best? <laughs> what's, the, what's the most moral place for us to sell emo? <laughs> what would be the most moral place to sell her? Fuck, man, it might be OnlyFins. It might be OnlyFins or Finsley. That might be the be that might be the most like moral place to sell her. <laughs> uh. I'd say she probably grew up in some far off hinland of the fairies. I'm a fish, though. 
<laughs> but we already established Amazon would not be a good one. <laughs> Land of the fairies? Yeah, but it's just a guess. I get the impression the lyrics to her songs are from an old fairy dialect. A scholar of such things would stop by here just to drink some years back. That's when I first told about it. Instagram DM sale. <laughs> uh, B-Gen would be for commissions. We used to talk about being able to speak the language of the fairies, if only they were here now. Language of the fairies, hmm? Stay rise. Who else do we know that can speak with the fairies? <laughs> Stephanie? Cress? That's the one. Perhaps they're feeling charitable for once. You buy emo on Fiverr? <laughs> Attention! All Harvestella farmers! <laughs> emo is about to be sold on the black market, but you can help. All I need is your parents' credit card number and the three fun and the three, um... Funny numbers on the back. <laughs> you can stop emo from being sold to another establishment. Get on it, um, Abel's. <laughs> if I actually had time to write that, it could be a bit more better. My improv, I should take like an improv class or something. I feel like, like my improv is okay. I've gotten better over the years, but I know my friends that are like best at like took like an improv class and I feel like I would benefit a lot more from that. <laughs> are you saying you're friends with a fairy? Wacky digits. <laughs> more or less, but calling them all the way out here would be a pain. You hear a familiar voice and rise to close. Wait, what? <laughs> he children repeat as follows and the great fairy shall grace you with her presence. <laughs> Now I get you, as someone who's did improv, it helps a lot. Yeah. It's just finding time. Time is hard. All I do is work, stream, and school. And finding time outside of that is hard. Something would need to go for a bit. Oh, great fairy, we call upon thee in our time of need. We shall feed thee the tastiest treats three times a day. Oh, and brush thy wings every morning. Oh, and oh, you get to trip that mouthy redhead. You get to trip that mouthy redhead ten times each day. Yeah, I like that one. Ahem. <laughs> Recite these words three times, and don't forget to prepare the snacks. Rise, grab her, quick. Eep. You were there the whole time, weren't you? I, I might have been for a little while. Look, laboring the fields all day gets pretty boring, okay? Well, let it go this time, yet only because we need to put you to use in other ways. I'll even look past your insult about me being a mathy redhead. It's more of an auburn, anyway. Insult? Why, whatever do you mean? I said that with the greatest of respect. Oh, who am I kidding? So you want me to interpret for the girl? Was that it? Yes, and be quick about it. All right, all right. So, girly, would you mind saying a few words for me? This is the first can't say I've ever seen a fairy before. We happened upon her by chance. I get all kinds of people stopping by my town room, but it looks like there's still plenty in the world left to see. Fairies definitely aren't something you expect to see every day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, is that so? I see, I see. Okay, I think I get the gist. Your accent's a little strong, so I'm struggling to pick up all the details. Then again, you're not really speaking the language of the fairies. Me. We don't mind if it's vague. I can say one thing for sure. The landlord is a piece of work. Who stole the poor girl's linguocyte. Or what? Linguocyte. She needs it soon to be able to talk with humans. So that's how he could understand what Emo is saying. Why would she be, he be holding on to something so important? It's not like there was some kind of promise involved. But somehow she ended up being forced to sing in the tavern while that guy still hasn't fulfilled his side of the deal. I'd say he's keeping the linguist site hostage so he can't. she can't ask for help. So the landlord intends to use her as some kind of attraction to entice sales? Just like what was written in that letter, he plans to sell emo. That means we don't have time to dilly-dally. Was there anything else? You say he was keeping the linguist site because of a promise you made? Me, me, me. Oh, so that's why. For some reason she needs a boat and some help to take her to the summer sea site. 
Lynn would say he was going to give her both of these things, but never did. I must have been what he was talking about the other night. Uh, why the sea's light? Me. She said she can't say just yet. Understandable, considering how the landlord has tricked you. I would be surprised if you trusted us so quickly. It still works out wonderfully, since we're both hanging the sea's light, too. You should take opportunity to help Emo, too. Do you own a boat? We could make one. Hold on just a minute. How much time do you think we have? We can't build a boat. At least we're in a fishing town. There must be a spare boat sitting around that we can borrow. Actually, you'll be hard-pressed finding anyone who put their boat in the water since Lorelei turned up. Oh, right. I remember hearing something about that during the row in the tavern. What was it again? They're both filled with water when they heard Lorelei's ballad. <laughs> it's me. I'm the boat. <laughs> Bella, no. You're gonna drown. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to drown. It's become quite the rumor, but a fisherman's boat is their life. You won't find anyone willing to whisk theirs. I'm a flower, <laughs> okay? Is a flower buoyant for three fucking people? <laughs> <sighs> fisherman or not, I don't think anyone's about to risk sinking their boat. We'll just have to think of another way. It's too soon to give up now, right, Rise? I can float with three people! <laughs> Let's take a walk around and see if we can't find any useful gossip. Yeah, I need a sip, bro. I'm getting lightheaded. I don't know why. Try me fine. First time we meet, first thing I'm doing is I'm throwing you in the water and I'm hopping on top. And we'll see how much you float after that. <laughs> I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna hold you to that. Why am I so lightheaded though? Maybe I haven't eaten enough today. I'm unsure. I didn't eat that differently from yesterday. Maybe that's why I'm a little iffy. I don't know. Gotta be something. Don't give me that look. You started this. <laughs> Don't give me that look, Millie. You started this, not me. You're saying you'll float. You're saying you can carry three people. I'm tasking you with one. And I'm a skinny ass fucking white boy. You'll be fine. Activate that. And go in here. It's pretty late traversing in our time. Fuck off. Anything I can cook. Right now. No. Anything I can build. Cook the fairies? No. We need them for translating. They're an interpreter now. That's their that's their purpose in life. Lamp oil rope bombs. One of it's yours, my friend. You look kinda sleepy. You don't say. <laughs> You think the green one would taste like broccoli? We're not eating the fairies, Milla. Until they fulfilled their purpose. Then you need to convince me they're not sentient and can't feel pain. After that, then we can talk. Pour myself Diet Pepsi right now. Bro, during the next ad break, I might just go downstairs, make myself a little bit of toast real quick. Not a bunch of pieces, though. Just, like, maybe, like, 
four. And then just scarf him down real quick. That should get me. Clear the rest of the night. Knock, knock. It's Knuckles. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Good morning, Rise. I came by to warn you that Quietus will be coming soon. <laughs> Just so we're clear, when Quietus comes, you're not to go outdoors under any circumstances. No traveling, no farming, nothing. You to confine yourself to these four walls until it's past, understood? But the farm... I already told you no. You'll have to harvest that what you can beforehand. And don't go planting any new seeds either. They'll all wither in minutes when Quietus arrives. Just do as you're told, okay? Anyways, what I came to warn you of, take whatever measures you need before Quietus arrives. Wait, but I have your thing. Also, I'm in bed. You should join me. <laughs> it's for my health? <laughs> ah, I'm fucking blind! <laughs> Not the flash I wanted! <laughs> Rise, what was that about? <laughs> what? The sparkles have started. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I gotta harvest everything before it's too late. What about your dance of protection? No, no, no. It won't work this time. Last time the sparkles came was brief, right? Over in the blink of an eye. Poof! This time's for realsies, and I can't keep the farm sealed off for the whole duration here. So like you said, we gotta harvest everything right away. Once the sparkles are over, it'll be a new season, so we can plant everything again like new. Also, my pro my profile pic left me. <laughs> I don't have to. We don't have time to even put that on the screen. <laughs> we have to. We have to get harvesting now. We don't have time for fucking aesthetics. What are you fucking? What are you a fucking? I don't even know where I was going with that joke. Holy fuck! My brain is at fifty percent capacity. <laughs> Hmm. So Quietus happens on the 26th? Is that what happens? Take care out there. No, does that happen on the 30th? So I I, I got I got some plants. <laughs> I got lots of plants. The veggies are simply bursting to be harvested. <laughs> They're simply There's bursting. Vegetable juice, gotcha. I think some tomato juice. We got letters. A dear pal. I hope you're all ready, Rise. I heard that you've bought yourself a Totokaku from a Kamelo Sensmin. Totokaku are very flammable. They can be both bundles of tinder and reliable partners. If you treat them right, your love will be returned. <laughs> and so will the warmth of their bodies. To celebrate your no Totokaku, I've included some lighters with this letter. I hope you will find them useful. They're very flammable. 32nd day, it's a day between season. Uh, okay. Okay. So, 31st is my last day. Right. So, I have six days left. We'll be harvested in one day, these will be in three. That's not my name! <laughs> I'm listening to you. Why are you punishing me? Bro, all my shit's been taken up by tomatoes. <laughs> I was curious what it did. You've been here before, Milla. <laughs> You've seen exactly what it does. <laughs> Calls me Reezer. That's a war crime, you know. I can't even sing Buddy Holly on stream. I can't say what's with these homies. I'll get copyright striked.
Oh, hello there. Rise, do you have a minute? I don't have an umbrella. Can you stand over me? <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about Van and Vent. They've been acting really weird today. I asked them if they wanted to play together, but they made some really Giant. funny excuses and then ran off. <laughs> Yeah, he can't say it. He can't say the word. He can't say the funny dumb word. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> he says giant. <laughs> you failed. <laughs> That's super mean. I can't believe they would ignore me like this. It's so rude. You were playing with them before, right, Rise? Did they say anything to you? <laughs> oh no. I, I I just I just smack her with it right away. Like, yeah, they found out you're moving. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryze. You must have been surprised too. Well, I'm Pyre Merchant, so we move to new and different places all the time. But it looks like business has gotten bad, so we have to move and try and save it. I'll miss you. I'll miss you guys too. Honestly, I wouldn't move at all if I could help it. <laughs> so there's this thing I helped with recently, called adoption. <laughs> I really selfish of me to say, my parents would be so sad. I've been looking for the right time to talk to Van Vent ever since, but I found out we're moving, but I could never find it. The right time never came, and now you have to talk to them. Yeah, I know. So I need to talk to him today. I can't keep avoiding it anymore. Rise, will you help me? I don't know, I'm trying to stop a black market sale. But I guess preserving friendships is more important than human rights, so we'll take care of that first. <laughs> Ignore me, I ran off earlier, so we need to figure out where they went. I'll be waiting in Lake Village when you're ready. Don't take too long, okay? Man invents top secret mission. <laughs> Okie dokie. Is come time again. Ads. As required to me by Twitch.tv. We will have these ran real quick. It will be a perfect time to stand up, stretch, get some water, get some snacks. In my case, I'll be getting toast. And then, after that period, we will be back in just a minute. So with all that being said... Bye for now.
Howdy, howdy, everybody. Hope you all had a good break. I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I got myself a couple pieces of toast. They are in my stomach now, digesting in the enzymes and slowly being turned into energy. And I already feel a lot better. Holy shit. <laughs> I needed to eat a little more. Uh, if, uh, if I have time, I might go to the store after stream and just grab a little something, something for myself. Uh, places around here close at 11, so... Uh, if I wanted to, I would need to do three hours. We'll see how I feel. I might be fine. I don't know why I was trying to jump on the rock. I just felt like it today. Also, where's my little buddy? Rise, you have so much riz. I'm glad somebody finally noticed. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mila. I, appreci I appreciate the compliments. Lies they may be. I appreciate them, nonetheless. <laughs> See you later. Also, you gotta do it with the emote. You gotta do it with my emote if you have to say it. <laughs> you need the fall effect. Um, ah, yes, I'm helping children instead of preventing the slave trade. Got it. Uh, God, I really need to do my stretches. My entire body's feeling it. Yeah. Hello. Hello, small child, who is not going to be here anymore. Whether because they die wandering into monsters or otherwise. Because this is how it's going to happen. You're somehow going to manage to make that happen. Yeah. None whatsoever. <laughs> Stop by their ass and ask their right before seeing you rise. It sounded like nobody had any idea where any of them could have gone. So they went to go get eaten by monsters. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's all we can do. No, it isn't. We're just going to waste time. They clearly went to the fight. They clearly went <laughs> to the final boss to fight God. <laughs> Normal children behavior. I mean, for real. Like children being made of rubber rubber was like an evolutionary an evolutionary necessity. Because like their entire childhood they're just trying to get themselves killed. Except for me. I lived a boring life. I lived a boring safe life playing video games indoors like an idiot. Well not an idiot. A loser. There we go. That's more accurate. Lurking around. Hey yo, they were in stream? They were out looking for an adult to take them to Jade Forest. You know, loser. Why do I feel like one? <laughs> mm. Honestly, thank you. I needed that. <laughs> Try to ask him if I'd go with him. I was too busy in the field. Also, I can't fight. <laughs> <laughs> so they're in Jade Forest. We know where they are. We're still going to waste time asking people anyways. <laughs> Hello, Smithy. Hmm. Okay, can I be a little low-key here? The smithy is a little bit of a gilf. Like, I'm, I'm just being honest here. Like, it's not as much as Drasna. Okay, okay, good. You see it too. You see it too. Like, very, like I could. Would, that's a little, that's a little different. Like, mm, they like remove a few like wrinkles. Like, either on the forehead or the mouth, but, like, other than that, like, and, and I could tap that. I could tap that. It is possible for me to tap that. <laughs> They're in the Jade Forest. They left not too long ago. We should waste more time so they turn in the corpses. Yo, I'm gonna quest while I quest real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna quest with Cress while I quest with Malika. Hmm. 
Like, if I could romance the smithy, like, genuine option. Genuine option right there. Alright, so you're back with those flowers already. Can I check if they're the right ones? It's necessary for finding a way to kill you for all the comments you made this morning. <laughs> uh, are you making something with them? No, they're not materials for anything. I just wanted them. <laughs> These were my mom's favorite flowers. Ah, <laughs> uh, so uh, part of paying my bills is also um, getting a trauma dump. Got it. <laughs> You deal with the physical stuff, I deal with the mental stuff. I see how this relationship works. Is your mom... Fires we always put on our parents' grave. The merchant where you always get them from couldn't make it here due to the recent disturbances, so I asked you instead. Wondered why it was just you and Dim. Well, now you know. Was intentionally hiding it or anything, it just never came up in conversation. <laughs> you see, dumping all your trauma on the people unprovoked with no reason is kind of in bad taste. Usually happens in Twitch chats. <laughs> that was quite a renowned doctor, but even he couldn't cure it. And obviously there was nothing we could do either, we were still kids. <laughs> I should have been growing up and helping my mom not die instead of being ten. <laughs> Kind of. I can't say it's the only reason, but it plays a part. Anyways, thank you for the flowers. I'll be in touch again soon. There are some more materials I'd like you to get for me. I hope I'll be able to share something good with you soon. How dare I be ten, literally. What? What? Why were you ten instead of buying a house? Huh? You ever think about that? Ever think about how much time you wasted being like fucking eight years old? You could have been investing in real estate. You could have been on that grind, but you weren't. Because you were stupid. You weren't thinking. You gotta think, Mila. <laughs> you gotta think about your future. What were you thinking about? The fucking Barbie dolls? Brats if you were a rebel? Or were you playing video games, huh? Ever think about that? Uh. No, never mind. Well, then, I've got the flowers now, so I need to go and prepare them for the grave. <laughs> she has such a big smile on her face, like, Well, time to go see my dead parents! <laughs> see ya, Rise! <laughs> you have a good one. <sighs> Reward, pyro liquid. She's in it. She's in on it with the mayor. Fucking Tokyo Drift. <laughs> I'm depressed. <laughs> Literally. Hey, look, more quest. Quest while we quest, and we also quest. Don't suppose we were able to hear what the strategy meeting was about. Just mumblings about smelliness and quantity. It was all very suspicious. Mark my words, those two are up to no good. Oh, believe me, I will. A strategy meeting? What are those two planning? I don't know, but they're probably dead by now. We, we could have just gone straight to the Jade Forest, but you didn't want to do that. Uh. Meanwhile, Emo is terrified, literally. <laughs> just like, I'm gonna be sold. I'm gonna be sold to somebody. I don't know what they're gonna- I don't know what they're gonna have me to do. I don't know what's gonna happen to me. And meanwhile, I'm just out here, like, resolving kid drama. <laughs> just out here playing tag while she wonders what she- what's gonna happen to her the next day. Let's go and check the village entrance. Get moving, I'll see you up ahead. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. We should save, we haven't done that in a while. There we go. Hey, 
They're not here. Do you think they've already left the village? Somebody must have seen them. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen Man and Vent here? <laughs> I think they were going to Jade Forest. Maybe you should have gone to Jade Forest. Ever thought about going to Jade Forest? We have to hurry and find them. <laughs> but why would they lie? Why would they do such a thing? Can you believe people would do that? Just go into Lathe Village and lie like that? Alright, let's see here. Uh, quest marker. That way. Gotta go fast. I love how they're right beside the fucking monsters. Fucking idiots. <laughs> Man, this dirt feels like dirt. Feel this dirt vent. <laughs> Isn't so dirt? Could you pick up the pace? This isn't nearly enough to. Who are you calling worse than a monster? I can't believe you can be so rude. <laughs> and everyone spent the whole day looking for you too. Looking for us? What for? Because we were worried about you. What are you doing anyway? Collecting dirt? Feeling dirt? Cause you're dirt? Cause you act like dirt? Cause you are dirt beneath my feet? Dirt? <laughs> Fine, don't tell me. That's why I'm here anyway. I wanted to talk to you two dirt. <laughs> We've got it covered, okay? Come on, let's go, Vent. Hey, slow down. And then they died. Again. Now we go after them? <laughs> totally, those two are definitely hiding something. Looks like they ran back to the village. Come on, let's follow them. All right, let's go. Hello. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> are you all having a fine day today? <laughs> yeah, and that's how the missing children milk carton started up again, literally. <laughs> Do they even have milk cartons, though? They have, like, milk... bottles. <laughs> like, Arya's just out here going, and that's how the... and that's how Amber Alerts were made. <laughs> They're still in the forest, aren't they? No, they went to Lathe. Okay. Hello there. You have a thing above your head? I don't think it's the right thing. <laughs> Just leave her alone. <laughs> There's something I'm worried about. I have something out through the village, the one that's unoccupied. Ah, yes, the house I tried to rob. I have seen it. I went into it. <laughs> you keep hearing noises coming from at night. <laughs> it could be mice. <laughs> it could just be a young couple in love. Probably a young couple in love. <laughs> Please don't say moaning. Please don't say moaning. Please don't say moaning. <laughs> Do you think that's his ghost? 
No one else seems to be taking this rumor seriously. <laughs> I had a sandwich. Was it a good sandwich? Are you nice and full? Like me? I just had a few pieces of ag bread. I had part of a sandwich. That's some loud segs in that case. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> uh. Let me know if you find anything, okay? Alright, we'll take care of that later. Emo is fine. Emo is perfectly fine. Uh, fuck. Where's the last of this fucking... Where the fuck do I go? So that'll lead to the... Fuck. Alright, so if I go this way... That's the abandoned house. Um, I guess I'll just go in houses? I guess? Opening the door. Nothing. Emo is perfectly fine right now. Emo's going to be okay. This house. Come on, you two. Emo's life is at stake. Don't you two care? Where have you gone? Just a man in a chair. Check that house, that house, that house. What's going on here? I, oh, I had to go for the crown? I had to go for the crown one? I guess that means... Oh, this is the end of the mission. <laughs> Kia, what is that smell? My poor beautiful nose, it feels like it's going to fall off. That's one hell of a smell. Yeah, curse in front of children. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Swears. <laughs> uh, they came screaming back here and barricaded themselves inside the mayor's house. What? Why would they do that? I was asking myself the same thing. The mayor's in there negotiating with her now, but they're being stubborn little whores. Problem is, as soon as you get anywhere near the house, they start throwing those stinky seeds at you. I have no idea what they hope to get out of this, but... <laughs> They're liter they've are they literally kidnapped the fucking president. <laughs> and are holding him at fucking... Seed point. <laughs> to get Malika to stay. I'd like to hope they wouldn't, but we just can't stand around. <laughs> seed point. <laughs> <laughs> Get down, Mrs. Obama! <laughs> you shouldn't be here. <laughs> we still have our secret weapon. If so much as one of those stinky seeds touch me, we are over. <laughs> I will not give you... <laughs> I will not give you my chalky milk at lunch if you do that. We are over. We are done. <laughs> uh, these children, they are surprisingly flame retardant. It sucks. <laughs> You said we'd leave as soon as we agreed to demands, didn't we? And I'll tell you again, what you're asking of is outside of my control. All I can do is control the fire, like Zuko. Well, and the village is furious. 
Let them be. We did this for you, Milka. But why? We came to talk to Marangem to stop you from moving away. We thought that since he's the mayor, he'd have the power to keep you here. <laughs> we thought we thought the mayor had a fucking death grip on the entire village. We just thought him, we just thought his word was law. His will caused the heavens themselves to rend and bend to his will. <laughs> Not like you even want to go, right, Milika? So at the blah blah blah. You idiot! How could you both be so stupid? Nothing you can do to stop me from moving away. I have to go for Ma and Pa. But I don't want you to. You're being so selfish. Sometimes we have to do things in life we don't want to do. Milika. You've inconvenienced everyone in the village over this. You both need to apologize right now. Apologize? You're the one who should apologize. You kept this whole thing a secret from us. I guess that's because it's no big deal to you, huh? You were happy to pack up and leave us behind. That's, that's not what we're here to talk about right now. This is about you and all the trouble you've caused. And why do you think we did it? Because you were ready to just go without saying goodbye? That's not... Van, please, just stop. <laughs> I love that Van vents more than vent. Well, I know you're thinking it too. That's why she never told us in the first place. Van, that's enough. Bet you're on our side, aren't you, Rise? Stop it. Milika? I hate you, Van. I hate you. Just forget we were even friends. Ilika, don't. Hmm. Well, this is a fine mess you've gotten yourselves into. May I suggest some gasoline on the fire? <laughs> you coming or what? Yeah, sorry. I'll be right behind you. This wasn't how it was supposed to go. I have to do something. This is sad, to be honest. It's written pretty realistically for kids, you know? When do these seeds grow? Currently spring. Uh, they grow in summer and fall. Spring, summer, and fall. Cave crop. Cave crop. What am I missing here? Because it says on the farm and then it says cave crop. What's the difference with a cave crop? Guess I'll find out later. Also grab another quest while I'm at it. Different biome, got it. Hello, Mr. Pyromania. Oh, Don, if only I could go and see him right away. <laughs> Who do you want to go and meet? <laughs> oh, I speak of the devil, it's you, Rise. Ah, I know. You're here now, so perhaps you could help me with a little something. Oh, you accept? Thank you. The thing is, I received this letter from an old friend of mine who lives in Chateaula. He does not have third-degree burns on his skin yet. This must be rectified immediately. Right. If anyone's going to end him, it's going to be me. With a lot of fucking fire. <laughs> Used to go on travels together and everything. Entire villages were turned to ash by our hands. Now all we can do is write letters to each other. We can't even burn the fucking letters into the letter because the paper just goes up in flames entirely. <laughs> Which is still fun. <laughs> but it uh, but it's not legible. I thought of that too. To be honest, I'm quite worried about the old fella. He's a sensible and respectful pyromaniac. It would be out of character for him to cut off contact like that without talking about it first. If I could, I would go straight over to Chateau right now. Probably make Smokey the Bear mad at me on the way through Jade Forest. Well, it's not an easy thing for a mayor to leave his town behind. Which is why I was hoping you might be able to go and find out for me what he's doing. 
Thank you. Much obliged. Take that letter with you. His name is on this. I want to get to Shatula. You're going to ask him where to find him. Thanks again. Make Smokey the Bear mad for me, for, you, for me, will you? <sighs> Okie dokie. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, I might end after this session. Just on account of being tired more than anything. I also need to deposit, uh... I also need to ship some of the crops I got. I completely forgot to do that. Let's see here. Storage box, we'll get that, 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 one of those, one of those, one of those, that, 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 there we go, and the rest will be sold for profit. Perfect. And where's my little boy? Where's my little guy? I miss him. So is there anything I didn't eat right now? Maybe in the storage box? <laughs> Let's see. Just something to, uh... Stave off the old hunger. We'll eat these. There we go. See you later. That was a heavy sigh at the end. Wrong way. Jade Forest, left not burn, and now to Shatola. Look at that big old bubble. Yeah. Back to f stopping the slave trade. Well, first we're going to talk to this old man. <laughs> We've got our priorities straight. Huh? Are you looking for someone? You don't look like you're from around here. Who are you looking for? That name. Did you receive this recently? The old man who sent that letter sent a thief to live here, but I'm pretty sure he passed away about six months ago. You're not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you, kid? How could a dead person send letters? It must be some kind of mistake. Why don't you check out his house? <laughs> Camera pan. The house near the pier. His family still lives there, so if you talk to them, you might find out what's going on. Well, unfortunately, that's in the opposite direction, and I don't like moving. Back to our boat issue. Meow. Wolf. <laughs> building looks nothing like the other has, does it? It's yellow. I hate yellow. <laughs> mm, this part isn't strong enough after all. Oh god, it's him again! He's returned. <laughs> oh, I remember you. We met in Lathe, didn't we? <laughs> Aren't you going to introduce me to your lovely lady friend? I'm Aria, and is that... It's a bitchin' ass submarine, that's what. <laughs> Doesn't look very sunken. <laughs> that's because it has not yet sunk. It's a sunken ship by classification. I've named her the Fiasola. 
Gorgeous, isn't she? Just look at her buxom curvaceousness. Mm. Oh, look at this part. <laughs> now, now, a lady should know better than to touch what doesn't belong to her. You can touch me anytime, though. I must say I was skeptical when I heard of a ship that sinks itself, but this? Tell me, how does it withstand the increase in atmospheric pressure when it's submerged? What's this? So you are no ordinary lady after all. Well, you see, after a great many tests. The talking shop. <laughs> I didn't know you could use the monoline in such a way. It's much more advanced than I realized. But it spreads too far, and then there's a chance it could really confuse the story in century from now. Ow, what's this gem? Don't tell me you're secretly dripping with riches. <laughs> oh, that? It's an imitation. A byproduct of a previous invention of mine. It's completely worthless. A discerning eye can tell you it's a forgery quicker than a heartbeat. Still, even imitation gemstones have some value. There are some people out there who wouldn't care that's fake. No, it's not about the value, it's about how rare it appears. I suppose not everyone is quite as philosophical as you, hmm? So, why are you both here? I'm sure it's not just to catch a glimpse of my latest creation. Yeah. <laughs> we want to borrow your boat. <sighs> mm. To the summer seas light, you mean? Well, my ship would certainly be suitable enough to help with your endeavor. <laughs> but it's not like you're asking me to take you on a pleasure cruise. <sighs> Unless it's me and that one over there. Mmm. <laughs> So you can't blame me for asking what it is you expect to achieve there. We were hoping to keep it something of a secret, but I guess we really don't have much of a choice. Emo, come in. <laughs> the emo in the back. <laughs> Yo! Emo needs to go there, which is why she's trapped in some awful promise to the tavern landlord. Oh dear, human trafficking is quite a repelling concept, which I suppose is fitting for such a repellent landlord. He's got standards. He has standards. He has morals. Respect to increase. I might give him a less obnoxious voice in a few... at this rate. So you wish to take Shatona's resident diva to the seas tonight? <sighs> Have the sirens awoken something? <laughs> is something wrong? Not at all. If the beautiful diva wishes to go, then who am I to turn her away? Hold on a second. Why were you so reluctant when it was me who made the request? Oh well, how do I put this into words? You're not quite up to my level. Come, you must know what I mean. No, I don't think I do. Eh, whatever. We got what we came for, and you've agreed to take us to the seas light. I can't wait to ride the boat. You're so easily amused. Still, it may become a self-fulfilling prophecy if we keep calling it a sunken ship. How about submarine instead? That's a wonderful idea, Arya. In that case, she would be called the Submarine Fiasola. I will prepare the ship for departure. Come back and see me once you've completed any preparations of your own. So like 500 things of food. Gotcha. I'll probably take I'll probably take care of that in the coming days. Maybe after Quietus. I think that would be a good timing. We go ahead and save real quick. We obviously will not hit that during stream though. So for right now, I'll just do everything else. Oh, somebody's dead. <laughs> oh, there's a corpse on the beach. Lovely. Uh, just throw her into the ocean. Hmm. Where am I? You're in Shatola. Shatola? Oh, um, was there someone else here with me? Our boat capsized. We got attacked by a monster. I can't be the only one who washed up here. Oh.
Yes, it's someone I love very dearly, you know, kind of like a husband of sorts. It was my husband. My husband is dead. <laughs> my husband is fucking dead. Are you single? I need a replacement. <laughs> Never mind, can you help me look for them, please? I must really find them. It's someone important to me. I feel like I've gotten brain rot from you, Mila, because I read now as Meow. I've got like five people following me right now. I'm going to try talking to the fisherman. Could you ask the people around town for me, please? The consequences of escape. Well, yeah, your programs usually close. And you exit full screen if you hit escape. <sighs> Sorry. Wondering if you've... You're wondering if you've seen anyone on the beach lately? Mm, no, I don't think so. Me neither. Have you lost someone? Oh dear, the boat got attacked by monsters. How awful. I'm so sorry, but I haven't heard talk of anyone getting rescued. News like that would normally spread around, Shadona. <laughs> you won't much help. We hope you find them. Yes, don't give up. There's still a chance they might have washed up somewhere else. If you don't find them in Chitola, you might still find them in another town. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. Chitola has really nice music. I'm a big fan. Let's see here. Where, oh, where? There. Mm-hmm. Are you looking for someone? <laughs> well, I'm a big fan of you, dawg. <laughs> Milo, why you got coming and make me feel all fuzzy and shit? Love you. <laughs> love Mil Mil. We love M Mil Mil in here. If for some reason there is not anyone in here... Hold on. If for some reason there is people in here who are not following Miller right now. I have caps lock on shit. There we go. For some reason there is people in here who are not following Lud Miller VT right now. Go correct that immediately. Please and thank you. If you're not following Miller, you're weak. <laughs> mm, sorry I can't be of any help. Go back to the beach and tell Lilia how the search is going. Hold on, I have to go to investigate a dead old man. <sighs> Alright, uh, that was his house. Ugh. Here we are. You're not a dead old man. You're an alive young woman. That's my grandpa. Yes, he did pass away six months ago. Mayor of Lath sent you. I have something to confess. Literal ghost writer. <laughs> I know all about that letter because I'm the one who sent it. I did. Before he passed, I was writing all his letters for him. He was sick and didn't have the strength to even lift a quill. I insisted the one thing he didn't want to give up was writing to his pen pal. At first, I used to write exactly what he said in the letters, and then when he passed, I intended to tell his pen pad to pal the truth. I couldn't bring myself to do it. Yes. <laughs> I wrote all the letters that came after my grandpa's death. Seemed like that connection he had with the mayor was what kept him going. He always looked so happy reading those letters. I'm sure the mayor found some joy in them too. So that's why I decided to keep writing them, pretending to be Grandpa. I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't keep on lying like this. Listen to me telling my sob story. I was the one who took it upon myself to go and lie in the first place.
How will I ever make up for this? Lathe. You came here from Lathe, right? If it's no trouble, could you please take me there with you, please? I'd like to come and apologize soon if that's alright. I have to let him know about Grandma, too. Thank you. Well, I have to get ready, so I'll meet you at the town entrance. Again, I have like five people following me. <laughs> Technically greater because I can switch on my party at any time. <sighs> or at least at the modus monolites. Let's see here. So there's some empty entrance. Let's go to the beach. We're just multi questing right now. Who the fuck said I can't multitask? They're probably stupid and wrong. Hi, Rise. How's it going? Oh, really? I don't have any clues either. I asked the sailors and the fishermen, but no one has seen him. It's time to accept that he's really gone. My dear Jade. Yes, we were engaged to be married. This must be our punishment. <laughs> he always said that boats were the devil. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that joke. I'm ignoring that one. <laughs> what were you running away from? The truth is, Jay's parents were against us getting married. But we wouldn't let that stop us. We chose to run a gay together instead. So you got on the bo So that's why you were on a boat. <laughs> Yes, but look at how that turned out. I'm on to capsize both, and it's only me left. This is why I get forever trying to run away. He might just be in another town. Maybe. Oh, by the way, when you found me, was there a hair accessory somewhere around me? Oh, it must have gotten swept away somewhere. It was a birthday present from Jade. It meant a lot to me. God, everything sucks for this woman. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll go to pneumonia. That's where Jay and I were playing to start our new life. Uh, I run away. I don't have anywhere else to go. I can't go back home. I'd at least like to live in the town that we set out for. Thank you for everything, Rise. I'll be on my way now. Go ahead and check if she arrives safely in pneumonia sometime after tomorrow. Alright, that one's taken care of. Oh god, children jump scare. <laughs> I just turn around. <laughs> and they're just asking for my lunch money. I ain't ready for this shit. Get me the fuck out of here. I wanted to tell an old man his best friend died. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever been on a trip. Thanks again for taking me. No need, young lady. <laughs> Are you the mayor of Leigh? Indeed I am. You couldn't wait, could you? <laughs> Nothing gets past you. <laughs> Almost broke my old back convincing the village to let me go, but they came around in the end. <laughs> um, I, well... Oh, you look just like him. Sorry? Especially those kind eyes of yours. They've got a bright fire. Mm, fire? Are you son of granddaughter? Yes. I see, I see. You are a fiery young lady, that's right. He did give you a, your first lighter, correct? Shall we take this somewhere else? It's been a while since my last visit to Sojola. I'd love to see the sea. Could you take us there by chance? Bitch, it's all sea. All of it is sea. You can see the sea. I promise you can see the sea. Brings me back many lovely memories. Of my fires being fucking put out. Fuck the ocean. Fuck water. I hate water. Why did I even come here? <laughs> That's right. We were still little ones at the time. When we got older, we'd end up staying up all night laughing and joking together. Those were the days. <laughs> and setting fire to orphanages. I should stop by pneumonia sometime. Am 
I see. Six months ago, was it? You cremated him, correct? That's how we agreed to go out. Tell me, why did you feel the need to hide it from me? Grandpa was always saying he didn't want to worry you. Oh, that silly old fool overthinking things. I should have been honest and told you right from the start. I really am sorry, honestly. Sorry I'm back, had to deal with dumb shit. That's fine, Mila. You take all the time you need. I'm just glad you've been here for as long as you are here. Yeah, I take a break out of mind. I never do. That's a lie. You are stuck here forever. I'm going to have to tie you to the chair. And you're going to have to stay here with, like, fucking, like, little clothespins keeping your eyes open. How dare you fucking divert your attention from me. How fucking dare you. How dare you have a life outside of Rise streams. When I'm not live. You should just be staring at your ceiling because nothing else can equal how entertaining I am. Or really, and then, like, you're fine. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry, I got a Twitter voice message. Uh, you made sure to, uh... You made sure to disable the, um... IP bullshit. With the voice messages. Or the voice, uh, calls. I think that's only a Twitter... I, I think that's only a Twitter premium thing. So I don't have to deal with it. I disable calls altogether. Gotcha. Exciting, waiting for the next one to come, and I had a fun time replying to them, too. <laughs> Did you now? In that case, I have something to ask of you. You know Jade Forest. <laughs> I want you to go over there and make Smokey the Bear very, very mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I will. Thank you so much. Wonderful. It would be my pleasure. And all thanks to you, I knew I could count on you. Ah, the time. I must get back to Laith. <laughs> I'm afraid so. The village agreed to let me leave on the condition I'd be back today. Sorry to rush off like this, but I must be on my way. <laughs> In the next letter, er, before I go, rise, when you get back to Laith, please stop by my house. I want to thank you. Yo, he running. <laughs> Yo, Grandpa got legs. <laughs> Let him go. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa got the zoomies for real, for real. He still got that spring in his stuff. No, that ain't one telling you otherwise. <laughs> All right, let me go find a, go ahead find a uh, safe spot real quick. Is it is getting towards that time? There we go. Ugh. Let me go ahead and switch this back over to chatting real quick, like so. Go ahead and play us some mucus, also known as music. There we go. <laughs> uh, and at the three hour mark, I believe it's time for us to go ahead and find somebody to raid real quick. Who do I feel like attacking today? Let's see here. Who's on? Um, no, let's go. Aki's uh, playing uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon right now. Let's go ahead and raid her. Huh. Let me get that all set up real quick. Wait, hold up. Okay, there were there were there were other channels I could have gone to. Apparently, my raid list lied to me, but we we're still doing Naki. Uh, I was confused. Was all. Uh, go ahead, hit start on that real quick, and let's talk about what we got going on uh, for the rest of the week. Um, so we have uh, tomorrow will be Hell Divers. We're gonna be doing some more Hell Divers. I'm probably gonna do some Hell Divers just by myself. Uh, for a little bit, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> and, um, 
after that um will be more art on thursday so that's what we'll be doing then hopefully i think we might be able to finish that piece we might be able to finish the comic piece so i'm looking forward to that and i'm hoping for that i gotta want to get that shit done i want to move on to other things in my life namely finishing my highlight my highlights video i've kept forgetting to fucking do that but um yeah things are pretty standard things are pretty standard right now with the harvest stella the hell divers and the art uh, things will be shaken up soon-ish, hopefully. But, yeah. Today was a really good stream. Thank you to everyone who came, especially Mila. I'm not sure if she got caught up in something else again, but eh, if she can hear me, that's enough. <laughs> but yeah, I had a good time, so thank you to everyone who showed up. I hope you all have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever you are, whatever the fuck you're doing. And have a good one.